no Overwatch boys. Please feel sorry for me. It might not. <laughs> no Overwatch y'all. boys. Yeah, but I've been playing Smite though. Uh, yeah, he's been playing Smite. I'm might I might get Smite on PS4, but I don't. Know. I don't know. Stay, like, stay over, stay with your Overwatch crew. <laughs> stay with your boys on Overwatch. Don't do it. Cause I don't need anybody else like to feel my agony. Oh, I already, I already felt that shit. Cause I was playing it on PC. So it's just like I, it's, I hate that game. I hate that game. <laughs> yeah, but I have like three it. gods um, at Master One. Uh, Scotty, Belliona, and Amaterasu. Mm. See, but I. If I can like transfer, I mean, if I can like, kind of like save my shit, shit from I do PC need that metal gear piece. to um to PS4, then I'll probably get it. Smite the mobile, yeah, smite the mobile. Um, Battleborn, a little bit of COD, you know, because everyone likes COD. Uh, Resident <laughs> Evil, we're doing like the Resident Evil 20th anniversary uh, playthrough. We're gonna be going through all those games. So it's gonna be a lot of Resident Evil happening. Uh, we played Final Fantasy, from Gravity Rush. Uh, those are fun games. We play. We we might play some fighters on stream, maybe at one point in time. Sooner or later, it may happen. But basically, it's just shooters, RPGs, survival horror, action games. That type of stuff you're gonna find here um, on this stream, really. Mega Man Legends died so long ago. It's just because it was far, it was too far from the original. A lot of people bitched about it, and it was canceled in the middle of its make. Yeah, but I mean, it's, that's kind of just how people are. I know it's a door that I'm missing. Unfortunately, kind of like with Final Fantasy 15, they're all crying and bitching about that. It's like. Ah, uh, it's open world and it's not turn based and it's and blah 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 blah. You can drive and it's just like, what are you guys complaining about? Oh, they're bitching about what? They're complaining about like 15, how it's open world. It's like, isn't that what you always wanted for Final Fantasy? That's the, one of the best things Final Fantasy, like the craziest like, Final Fantasy could ever fucking do. Isn't that one of the biggest things that you would ever want as a Final Fantasy fan? It's an open world Final Fantasy. Because the. If it's open world, you can fucking grind the fuck out. Yeah, not only can you grind the fuck out, but you can also explore far better than what you ever could before in Final Fantasy. You're just like, you're going to complain about that. That's your complaint. And then people are complaining about like how it's not turn-based, and it's just like, why would the fuck would you want to play turn-based anymore? Like, I understand, like, yeah, people play, still uh, like it. But it's like, yeah, I understand, like, people still like it or whatever. But, like, who the fuck wants to still play turn-based in the year 2016? People didn't even want to play it in the year 2020. I mean, 20 zero zeros, 20 XX. Any of those years, we've been the 20 XX part. So that means 2000, to 2001, to 2002, to 2003, to 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and above. Like, no one wants to play that no more. People are tired of turn-based. Like, it's not, it's not fun, people. You have to get with the times. It's not fun. But complain about open world out of all things to complain about with Final Fantasy 15? It's like, the fuck is your problem, dude? You guys playing on PC right now? Yeah, we're playing this on emulation. So, it's gonna have some fucky, fucky, shitty, shitty parts in it. You're gonna be like, boom, bop, wow, this is crazy. You got um, all the pieces for it? No, I'm about to put them in the wall if I can. Nice. Cause I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do now. Eh, it's not. It's whatever, Brent. It's whatever. Yeah, 15 plays like Kingdom Hearts? Not really. Not really. Yeah, they're both action RPGs, but how they work gameplay wise is completely different. It's completely different. It's probably like the closest thing that you can relate it to. Final Fantasy 13 was turn based. No, Final Fantasy hasn't been turn based since fucking Final Fantasy 6, actually. You need to get the other piece from that room where the clock is at with the metal. I mean, with the cogs and shit. Yeah, but I don't know how to, like, what to go to get that fucking piece. Got the metal loop. Fix. Uh. I could have sworn you already had it. 
Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, yeah, 13 wasn't open world at all, which is like, whatever. I don't really care about that, honestly. Like, I don't I don't need my Final oh, Fantasy to be really open fuck world up the or like, straightforward. Because Final Fantasy 10 is pretty straightforward to me. How much? Uh, I'll continue. So, like, that doesn't... Do I, I don't really care about that. Um, hmm? Alright. Now I remember where the fuck I'm supposed to go. But, like, yeah, fucking... Yeah, he got the pieces uh, from the library. I mean, the piece from the library. So... Final Fantasy... Yeah, I gotta go to, like, where it's, say, where it's the king, queen, and uh, jester. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy 6 and above, so like Final Fantasy 10, has been all ATB, which is like active battle. I mean, active time battle. Active time battle, active turn battle. Active turn battle. And aren't all Final Fantasies technically open world? Technically, yeah. Technically, yes. They are technically all open world in the first place. So complaining about an actual real open world Final Fantasy that's bigger than every other Final Fantasy ever created is your complaint. Then there is something obviously wrong with you as a person. There is something obviously painfully wrong with you as a person. Yeah, yeah you get it from the spade, uh, I mean the spade key room. But wait, do you have the spade key? Nope. Got the fucking part. So that means you're missing a door somewhere. Which is probably in that room on the other side. Did you take that door where you just came from? To uh in the room. office? No. Can you check the other door? That's where the hard key goes. There's like a door on that side. I know. I just never went back to that chat. I mean, even open world games design smaller instances. So yeah, not sure why people would be upset about it being open world either. Yeah, it's just that's the thing I don't understand. It's like they're ruining Final Fantasy by by not making it turn based. And it's like Final Fantasy hasn't been turn based since six. So we we gotta have a talk. Like we really have to have a talk. Yeah, I remember that only opens that this door. It's, I don't understand that because like there is no way that you're a fan like okay. There's no way that you claim you're a fan of Final Fantasy and you don't know shit like that. I think that also needs a spade key. So that means you left a key somewhere. Where did you leave it? Because I wasn't paying attention like the entire time you was playing it, so I don't know what rooms you went through and which rooms you didn't go what through. What do every run? Now, how the fuck did you miss a spay key? find out what's down there. Go ahead and go out and go out. I mean, go down there and find out what's, what's going on there. I mean, we already kind of know what's down there. <laughs> Fucking Cerebrus. Cerebrus. And they're going ham dizzles. They don't even care no more. They're just like, wow, the loops! Wow, the loops, the loops, got like, they had the combo on you. I like how he's just covering it up. I like how he's just covering it up. And it was like, huh, you think that you're gonna get through here? Nah, you good.
Oh yeah. So I finally figured out how to fucking write um zero in uh in Japanese. So I'm pretty content with my life right there. I'm pretty very happy with myself that I learned how to do that. How? How to write zero? Japanese? Pronouncing it is like stupid easy though. Like there is, it's literally the same thing. Except for when we say zero, they say zero. Sherry, that's, that's really I've it. been looking everywhere for you. So, I was so worried. Yeah. We've got to go now, honey. Okay? I don't know how to write if Ichi. If we stay here, that monster will find us. Me, Let's go. In Japanese, it's yet. No, I won't. But it will come What's at a matter? time. <laughs> One at a time. Can you trust me? Just unlocking you, the dogs in Dark Souls. It's because of oh my daddy. My He's over God. there. Stun locks I heard him in call any my game name. is so ass. Daddy it's must have been so attacked ass. by the monsters. Bless you. I have Bless to you. help him. Sorry, right, so we're on the right Sherry, track. Don't go because... alone. Bless you. Sherry, Thanks. Sherry. All right, remember, you get the key, and then Sherry kind of like tosses it over, and then you go and search everything else. The same formula that Resident Evil 1 had, where you just go over there to like the other house, I mean the residential house, and you know, you get the arm, I mean the helmet key, and you do all the stuff with the helmet key, and blah 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 blah. <laughs> I wonder if this segment's still in 1.5. That's actually interesting now that I think about it. Now, Red, you know Sherry can't push no boxes. Boxes are like five times her size. She's not like, um... God, what was her name? I was a Revelations T. Uh, oh, you no, talked no, about no, girl. The little one. Oh, shut the fuck up. I think it is. Natalia? Yeah, yeah, Natalia. No, you got it right. You can push that one all the way up, and then you can push the other one over. So it's not like anything bad is going to happen if you do it wrong. You just have to reset the room, but it's like... There you go. They can climb back over. Yeah, Sherry grew up, like, mad quick, man. But then again, this is, like, in the 70s or 80s, so... It's kind of expected by like 2020, I mean 2015 that she'd be kind of like all grown up and shit. Still find it a little funny that we never saw or heard about Jake until like Resident Evil 6. Why the fuck did she name him Jake? After, eh, well I guess Wesker's first name isn't really that all impressive either. Albert, <laughs> it's like, why would you name him Albert? Albert or Wesker? Slate, like, that's... So he doesn't sound evil? That's a terrible name for a child, I feel. Why did, why did he get a, a, an all-American name like Chris? <laughs> or Steve. Maybe Steve Wesker, you know? Your accountant, Steve Wesker. He handles all your banking information. <laughs> I wouldn't trust a motherfucker with the last name Wesker. I wouldn't either. Fuck that. I don't trust you. Maybe maybe they should have named him Jared Wesker, you know? That's the only fucking thing, right? Mm hmm Oh, because the other way... Yeah, and why would they give... Why would they name Red his name? Lame? Wow. Yo, shots from Winston. Why the fuck would they name him after a monkey named Winston? Oh, shit. Yo. Down, dog. He said. He said you like that that gorilla. Um, Madambre, Madambre, or some shit like that. Whatever his name is. I still don't believe that they shot that Where? movie, though. I mean, are you there? I know they did. Cause Sherry, that's like, you know, are you okay? Gorilla, sorry. Did you find your dad? The same color as us. Yes, black. I'm okay. And they kind of just have a habit of shooting him. black shit. 
nowadays. But I, don't I know did what find it is. something else for you. But Here. It's just, they just like doing it. I don't know why, but hey, Thanks, they like sweetie. shooting black things. Now, why don't so. you come over here? I can't. I stay with me. Whatever. Claire, I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take don't worry, I'm not gonna get killed. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry, <laughs> Sherry. Which came have to be facts. Unfacts, so. motherfucker. So you gave birth to a gorilla out of your hands? <laughs> he looks like he gives birth out of his hands. He probably does. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, kids like the kids is full of surprises, you know, full of surprises. It's like one day you see a kid and he's talking about potatoes, and then next thing you know, he's growing potatoes out of his ass. And you're just like, what? I think Winston is a good name for Winston. <laughs> The funny thing is, the scientist that Winston uh, belongs to is actually named Winston, which is like, what? <laughs> My oh, fact. shit. Oh, oh, party time. Party time. Oh. He's going to get you. He's going to get you. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, cars. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. Karen Council gives kids name right, and kid calls them cars. <laughs> Ray, what the fuck, run? Barely got out of there alive. <laughs> Will you take the acid rounds? This <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? There's <laughs> nothing in this locker. In this locker, nothing in this locker, nothing in this locker. I can't believe there's nothing in this locker. Will you take the ink ribbon? No. I like cars though. <laughs> Fine. Sorry, Kier. They make <laughs> they make this shit all blown out of proportion to distract us from shit like oil spills and radiation leaks and poison in the water. But meh. I mean. We kind of already know about all that stuff, though. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I kind of feel like they're more along the lines of, hey, the people already know about this because they keep bringing it up. So it's kind of like, why not? Why would we ever want to tell them this shit in the first place? It's kind of like, hey, look, guys, we killed a gorilla. We ki we killed a gorilla. And you almost killed a kid in the process. But hey, we killed the gorilla. We saved the kid. Even though there is a high chance that the gorilla could have fell on top of the kid and killed him anyways. Because that's exactly where they found the kid, anyways, between the gorilla's legs. So what would so what are you would have did if you missed and you killed the kid by mistake? Or you killed the gorilla and the gorilla fell on the kid. Like what the fuck would you do then? Whatever. Death Keeper, thank you for the follow though. Really appreciate that, my man. Kid plays Winston, right? Yeah, yeah, he does. I'm doing pretty good. So kid. he plays with himself. Good point. Good point. I give you 10 out of 10 on the points. Winston plays Winston and Winston watch. That doesn't work out as well. But it's the thought that counts, right guys? Right? Right? <laughs> No problem. You guys are good. You guys are good streamers. You know what? Thank you. I really appreciate that. I kind of feel like we don't get appreciated though. You know, like it's crazy because we good, man. Like, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but I really do appreciate that because it feels good knowing that someone appreciates our streams and thinks that we're good streamers because you need to hear that every once in a while as a streamer. It continues to inspire you and motivate you to do more and better for your streams. So I really do appreciate that. The moment you hear motherfucking feet clicking and clacking. And you're just like, nope, fuck that. Nope, I'm, I'm already damn near dead. Nope, I'm good. Thanks, guys. I'm good. It's like, you know, I really appreciate you for everything that you did right there. But you know what? I'm good. I'm all right, man. I don't want no parts. 
I don't want any parts of this. So like I'll rather just I'll rather just go out go to a restaurant in Raccoon City before y'all blow it up and have my fun there. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like Brad needs to hear sometimes that he sucks. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Ew! I mean, you do kind of suck ass sometimes, you know, but... But I don't, I don't mean like suck ass, I mean like literally suck ass. Like you literally suck the anal juices out of an asshole. And that's how you keep your youth. I think I look way older than 25, so how the fuck? <laughs> this is that how I keep my youth. You keep your youth that way. Shut up, X. Everyone needs something that works. This works a lot better. <laughs> they paid off the. They paid the pay. Oh. They paid the parents off and paid for the funeral. Eh, I guess that's okay then. This works a lot better. It's cringeworthy to see streamers getting distracted by chat and die. And have to watch them do something over <laughs> all over again. I mean, that's that's the game plan here. Our game plan, honestly, is being able to interact and uh, and stay alive. That's not how we stay alive though. <laughs> Red has his moments of glory. <laughs> Like I, took, I agree with that. Like I took kid, friend, Veronica. Maybe I thought it was Amanda. I don't fucking know. Amanda, Veronica. Maybe she's a light. Nah, nah, she isn't. Maybe a Mary, Winston and Mary. That kind of that kind of makes sense, right? Winston and Mary, Sanitary, K I S I N G. He says, nope, that liquor. X game plan in two easy steps. Fuck bitches, get money. Step three. <laughs> get off my feet, Red. <laughs> wow. Wow. He says, nope, that liquor. I mean, sometimes licking is a big no no. <laughs> it's a big no no. I see Red Beast in his scoring caught, so. Yeah, but have you ever seen. Red do anything outside of COD because if you're only defending him on COD alone, then I'm disappointed in you, Carry Council. Because you normally do better than that. Puzzle Boys stuck in the leaps. Oh, yeah, like that's that's the thing that matters to me when it comes down to streaming. It's all about being able to be interactive and still providing good gameplay. Because I feel like as a streamer, if you provide one or the other, you're, I kind of feel like you're just all right as a streamer, you know? I kind of feel like you could be better if you choose to be better. But once you have them both, then you're kind of like a good streamer that's waiting to get noticed by people to like have your stream blow up kind of deal. I kind of feel like that's how Twitch works. It's either like, you're the all right guy, the guy that's ass, or the guy that's just waiting to be noticed and blown up. And there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are like uh that are like in between these areas that I'm aware of. And it's just like there's some people that I follow on Twitch and they're like complete ass, but I don't be like, yo, you complete ass? No. <laughs> I would never do that. I would never be like. You know what? I think your stream is a complete ass. You can work a little bit more on this. Nah, I'm not that type of person. But I do like criticism. And I criticize a lot of my own shit. I was like, you know what? This, this quasi right here is pretty ass. You know what I'm saying? I gotta kick it up a notch. And then all the times was like, you know what? This quasi is pretty ass, but I can't kick it up the notch that I would want to because the notch that I would want to kick it up to would probably be like worth $2,000, $3,000 worth of money. And you know, we ain't balling like that, so we gotta.